how y'all like my breezy moves, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> but in all seriousness, it looks like EA Sports has some more mocap that I haven't quite touched on yet. And it's a little different from what we've seen in the past. But before I get too far into this video, tell a hater what? Worry about yourself. So from that small snippet that we just saw, it looks like finally we're taking a page out of 2K's book. Looks like we're going to have pre-game rituals where we're able to do dances and other things before the game starts and hopefully during the game as well. Maybe some flops in there. Hopefully that's something that EA Sports adds because I know kids like that kind of stuff. And you know what I'm saying? Sometimes when you showboating, it looks good. Not to mention, they got one of my favorite dancers doing mocap out there for EA Sports. Out in Toronto, right now, they got one of my favorite out there. That man, key to the great. Yo, let me tell you, that man can move, bruh. I don't think Breezy got, you know what I'm saying, he ain't got a chance against key to the great. I'm just letting you know, key to be, he be working out there. And it's cool because recently we did just see Dan Rue over there with NBA 2K mocapping over there. So if that's the case and we got key to the great, I'm, I'm, you know, I ain't gonna lie. I'm gonna keep it 100 with you. Keep it a whole green jelly bean with y'all. I would prefer Key to the Great over Dan Rue because Key to be, he be moving. Like, I don't know if y'all seen this man on TV, but you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Ooh, I ain't even gonna lie. You know what I'm saying? Just, just thinking about the stuff he does, man. I'm out of breath. You know what I'm saying? He be, he be killing it. Lately, all we've really seen is dribble moves from different influencers that actually have pretty good dribble moves out there. And that's cool and all. That's cool and all. But we want to see more. And I know other people don't really want to see dances and stuff like that. I understand. Because most of the time, NBA Live has an older fan base. So they don't care about those certain things that will draw kids into the game. But EA Sports does care to draw kids into the game. However, I do want to think that we're going to get more when it comes to gameplay. Maybe some post play. Maybe some around the basket. Just all types of stuff. I'm hoping that we get a little bit of those mocap sessions as well. So that we can see what's going to be in NBA Live 20. Because right now, I'm all for EA Sports getting as much mocap as possible. And not releasing gameplay at EA Play. That's my personal opinion. I don't want EA Play to have any NBA Live gameplay. But that's just me. Like I said, I'm thinking they should go more of a 2K route when it comes to their promotion this year. 